I am excited to share with you a recent performance of mine featuring music that is not as well known in the oboe literature. The title is Piece for Oboe and Piano, and it was composed in 2012 to 2013 by Naila Nonbeko, a female composer, pianist, and native of New York where she studied at the Manhattan School of Music, Manus College, and the Juilliard School. Her name, Naila, means one who will succeed, and Nonbeko, her last name, means respect. These are mottos she has adopted for her life and career. Coming from a musical family, she started taking piano lessons with her mother, as well as composing at the age of five. Her compositional style merges classical music and jazz. In this piece, you will hear two movements. The first one, titled Tranquil, and the second one, Agitato. I chose to play both Ataka. In studying and performing this piece, I really enjoy traveling through the different textures and atmospheres that she quickly intertwines in the music. It was also very stimulating to carry out the solo lines while the piano accompaniment felt like a cheering partner, providing chords like exclamation marks and other energetic lines like affirmative interjections. I am glad to have encountered this piece and I invite you to find her website and discover her music. I hope you enjoy Piece for Oboe and Piano by Naila Nonbeko, performed by Truly Yours at the Oboe and Xavier Suarez, my husband, at the piano. Thank you. 
Dr. Michael Burns, the bassoon professor at UNCG, and I'd like to introduce and tell you a little bit about the piece that I'm playing on the faculty recital today. It's a piece that I composed myself called Swamp Song for Bassoon and Electronics. And um, an interesting tidbit of information is that all of the sounds on the electronic tracks were originally made on the bassoon in some way, and then transformed with various means, actually using old-fashioned techniques with cutting and splicing reel-to-reel -reel tapes and playing them forwards and backwards and speeding up and slowing down and taking the, them and passing them through various electronic alterations, fil filtering and adding other elements to the sound. Some of those changes resulted in sounds, I thought, that sounded to me like water or animals. And that's where the name Swamp Song comes from. I think, you know, I thought of a swamp as a place where I might find those things together. It's lighthearted. Um, it actually used the technique um, quite a while ago, but similar to what you're going to see in the demonstration later this afternoon on um, electric bassoon, where I was using a vocal with a pickup microphone attached to it. And that was part of the way I was able to gather the sounds that are used in the piece. It has a funky jazzy section near the beginning. It has a slow section in the middle where there's a duet between live multiphonic bassoon and the altered sound of normal bassoon in a way that I was actually quite pleased how it came out. They sound quite similar and there are actually times where it's possible you might not be able to tell whether the sound is coming from the live bassoon on video or from the speakers and that's intentional. I hope you enjoy Swamp Song for both bassoon and electronics. Thanks.
Hi, I'm Ashley Barrett. I'm the oboe teacher here at UNC Greensboro, and I'm delighted to present this music to you on this recital. Today I'm going to be playing for you Abba Yo Yobo by Scott Robbins. And I'd like to tell you a little bit about Scott. Scott was originally from Boone, North Carolina. He lived there and, and went to school for most of his life. And then in the last 20 years or so, he has been the composition teacher down at Converse College in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Abba Yo Yobo is a piece for oboe and recorded sounds. And I'd like to read to you what Scott wrote about this particular piece. The tune Abba Yo Yo is a West African lullaby. I first learned it from a children's book, which tells the story of a dreadful monster named Abba Yo Yo, who terrorizes a village. The village is saved when a little boy enchants Abba Yo Yo to dance by playing his ukulele. When the dancing giant falls down, the boy's father, a magician, waves his wand and the monster disappears. It's a cute story with equally cute pictures and the illustrations added inspiration for my setting of the lullaby tune. The pictures show the village populated by many sorts of people, such as the African boy and his father, who look like Mississippi sharecroppers, Buddhist monks, horn-helmeted Vikings. It's a really odd mix. I decided to make the musical soundscape similarly multicultural, so I used sounds of African drums, whistling, shamisen, roadhouse B3 organ, harp, also a really odd mix. There are a lot of composer tricks going on in the piece, but I won't bore you with the details. Let me simply state that the work begins with a rhapsodic solo for the oboe, which is followed by a long breathed rendition of the Abba Yo Yo melody. And then the dancing begins.
My name is Marissa Oligario and I am the bassoon professor at the University of Arizona Fred Fox School of Music. I'm excited to share two works with you today. The first piece you'll hear is written by Veronica Krausis. Um, it's called The Tree is Alive and Singing for You. This was written in 2020 and commissioned by Anthony Parther for the Modern Art Orchestra's Art of Virus project. This project emerged as a way um, to use music to model the spread of the pandemic, the mutation of a virus, and its overall behavior. The project started as a nine-note melody written by Cornel Fakete Kovac, which can be considered the strain of the virus. From there, he sent the melody to 10 composers who then created the first mutations. Those 10 composers then sent their nine notes to another two composers. And thus the spread began. Krausis received her nine notes from Barbara Corral with the first four notes based on the call of a crying or mourning dove. Veronica imagined a tree hearing the call of this mourning dove and deciding to sing back.
The second piece is entitled A Nightmare by Emmanuel Kagandi. Um, this piece was also commissioned and written in 2020. It was commissioned by Dr. Midori Sampson as part of her project that commissioned 12 new pieces for unaccompanied bassoon. The project was initiated in an effort to normalize um, contemporary music by living African composers. Written for bassoon and ankle bells, this piece fuses traditional sounds and rhythms of Tanzania with traditional Western classical music. Thank you. 